what drew you to New York City? Because you're originally from Illinois, right? I, I knew that I wanted to be in the business. I knew I wanted to be in the arts and acting and what, New Was York there was a moment, York. like, were you a kid and you saw, say, Star Wars, and you're like, I want to do that? Or was there something that really drew you to that? It was, it, 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 everyone loves movies. Right. Uh, I, Carol's filled with them. Uh, just amazing people that all mm -hmm. sort of the community just sort of raised me and, and, and loved me up. And right. I knew when I moved here that it was really just about being here. Wow. And, and broad, there's only one Broadway in the world, and that's in New York City. Yeah. And I've been fortunate yeah, enough to do it for really a long time. Yeah, you've been really. I saw you in, in the Heights. Hey, how about in that? In the Heights. Not a bad show. I mean, that's. <laughs> you, you and Lynn Manuel must. Uh, must really work well together. We met in 2002. Yeah. Uh, when he had, had he and Tommy Kale had really started to put you know what what became in the Heights together. Yeah. Uh, and we were fast friends after that. We've been inseparable. I mean, I just go wherever Amazing. I leave. And and you met your wife at a reading for In the Heights. It was the only chemistry read that I had ever done in my entire life. So a chemistry read for is when a you reading, not for like the actual production, but for a reading. And Tommy Kale, who gets. All the credit in the world for introducing the two of us. Uh, she played uh, my love interest in an early uh, iteration of, of In the Heights. No and kidding. When it was over, I said, I hope that uh, you know that I'm going to just harass you and stalk you. <laughs> And, and that's essentially what I did. Wow. Yeah. Not Amazing. in a creepy way. Not in a creepy way. <laughs> no, but that's... In a good way. No, but I was so smitten by her, and, and we, were, we just developed such an amazing rapport, and then she started to sing, and I couldn't really speak. Like, I stopped being able to talk. Uh, yeah, just being around. I was talent crush, and then, like, everything else. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. It is. <laughs> Lin-Manuel, hook us all up with someone. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> um, you, uh... Hey, listen, uh, so speaking of Lynn Manuel and all that stuff, you were in Hamilton. Like, I, was. I, I still haven't seen it. it. I heard of this show. I've heard of this show. I heard now, a little bit about can it. Can you get us tickets? Jerry <laughs> has not taken his family to see Hamilton. How often do you get hit up for tickets? Not yeah. often at all anymore. No kidding. Not so much. My manager probably gets more calls than I do. Right. Yeah. You know, but uh, several times through the process, it got so bad that I had to put on Facebook, don't ask. <laughs> don't, right. period, ask. Period. Because I, it would have, I would have, you know, opened yeah. up my own ticket broker shop if I had to.